Namaste my loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the ultimate backpacking guide. Today I'm going to be giving you some packing tips to pack your backpack or this could even be to pack your suitcase. In this episode I'm not going to completely pack my backpack because I, I'm not going anywhere so I'm not going to do that but I'm just going to give you some tips and show you how I would do it and yeah basically that's it. <laughs> so obviously first thing I want to say you need to pick the clothes that you're going to take depending on where you're going. So if you're going to New Zealand you might need some warm clothes so you know that you're going to be taking chunkier items. But in this episode I'm going to show you how to pack if you were going to go to a hot country like Asia for example. I want to say as well before I start take less buy out there especially if you're going to Asia again. I wish that I never took as much because I could have bought so much more more out there and had so much more cooler clothes <laughs> to be honest a lot of the, when i came back with my backpack most of the clothes i took with me i'd either given away or thrown away and all of the clothes i came back with pretty much were all newly bought from different countries that i visited so 100 percent don't take half as much as you need you can buy out there for so much cheaper i'd never been backpacking before and i picked this offspray 40 liter backpack and as you can see it's actually quite small and the reason i went for a smaller backpack is because i did didn't know any different so in my mind I thought well if I don't know any different and I take a smaller backpack I'm not gonna think that I'm missing out and plus I knew as well if I took a big pack Backpack. I keep doing this. I said this in the last video. If I took a big backpack with me, I would have filled it to the brim. So in my mind I thought if it's small then I'm not gonna overpack which I did a few times. I didn't want to take a big one and then end up having to lug like a really heavy backpack with me. I think the maximum weight this came to was about 12 kilograms, which is great. And obviously this backpack opens like a suitcase. So for me, it was perfect because I could just shove everything in there and see everything as well. So first of all, I'm going to show you one of the things that I felt really helped me pack my backpack. And that was that everything that I had, had a bag. By this, I mean down to the smallest thing of my jewelry had its own bag. I had bags like this that had sun cream in it, a lip balm or something like that. And this bag had some plasters, first aid, things that I might not need straight away. Basically what I'm trying to say is everything had a bag. So I always knew where everything was. Even my travel adapter had its own case. My wash bag was in its own little compact place. My GoPro had its own bag. All my bikinis were all in this bag. And then I had two packing cubes. In this packing cube, I would have all my bottoms. So I'd have like trousers, skirts, and then this one would have all my shorts in it and my small like crop tops and things like that. So everything had a place and every single time I packed my backpack, it went back the exact same way every single time. So when I would open my backpack up like this, I would know where everything is. I'd know that all my larger items were in the bottom packing cube and all my smaller items were in the top packing cube and all my bikinis and like crochet tops were all in this packing cube here. And then I also took this with me and this had all my knickers, all my my socks I knew where they all were I'm honestly giving you the best advice I can give you here is before you leave before you go on your trip pack your backpack a couple of times before you go and figure out the best way for everything to fit in there because I did it so many times before I left I was buying things before I was going anyway and I packed it in so many different ways so I needed to figure out where the best place for everything would have been and for it to shut nicely as well at the same time without it being too like big you know but even when I bought more items my backpack got more and more full I still packed it the same way every single time because it was the only way that I could do it and it's so much easier than having a backpack full of just clothes everywhere how are you going to know like you're literally going to have to completely empty your backpack and everything is just not going to go back in folded so the great thing about this obviously is like when you put everything back it's all folded neatly in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack one of these packing cubes for you and I'm going to show you how I would do it if I was going to go away because I think this will just really help with how you would do it because I have a specific way of packing specific things um, and yeah, it really helps. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to quickly say like all, all my shoes went in this compartment here as well. So I had a pair of trainers and a pair of cord sandals. Items like this, I'd pack it in a specific place like here. So you know it's a space that doesn't really get like do you know what i mean it's like a really small bit but i knew it was always there and um, i took a tripod with me which was only like this big gorilla pod and that was always in there as well so i can actually remember how everything went and um, even these items here went down the side so that one would have been there this one would have been there my gopro would have been here I'll show you like that 
these two items were there and then this one was full of like my smaller item clothing items that was on top this one which was full of my knickers and socks was always here and this one was always there on top it literally went the same way every time if i had anything like this these are money belts or bags but around your hips <laughs> both of these i actually bought whilst i was traveling i do actually think these are quite essential so if you want something that isn't hanging off of you it's really cool to get something like this before you go so yeah i always carried them in here because they're quite flat so if they're flat i could just leave them like that and put them there or say if that was a bit full i would put them in this front pocket here also what i would do is if i knew i was moving from place to place i'd always leave my pajamas in the top of it so i'd pack everything up and then i'd fold my pajamas really thin on the top of everything and then i'd tighten it up with these straps here and then so if i arrived in hostel late at night i could just undo my backpack and instead of having to pull everything out i'd only need to just take my pajamas from the top put them on and go into bed it's just thinking in advance about how to do things as well because it makes your life trust me 10 times easier if i'd see some people open their backpacks and they've, they've got stuff everywhere and i'm just like how how do you cope with that like organization is so key for me i don't know whether it's just me or i don't know i am a bit ocd so i'm just gonna move this out the way i'm just gonna show you if you're a female and you want something that's really comfortable really lightweight and really airy i recommend getting yourself some rompers i just want to put this out there because these were probably the most comfortable thing that i bought and taken with me i got these from asos and i got another i got another two as well but honestly they're so comfortable it's like a dress but it's not at the same time so you've got like your short bit at the bottom here you just want to be light and airy they were essential to me i literally swear them in the evenings all the time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pack this cube up with those two rompers and i'm gonna put this in it as well so i've got a pair of harem pants i've got two pairs of shorts and i've got a pair of leggings and then i'm gonna put those two rompers in there as well it actually doesn't seem like a lot i've put a lot more in this cube but i'm gonna show you how i would pack it i would start off with the bigger items so for example i'll start off with these perine pants so as you can see i've kind of folded it up already but this is how i'd fold open it up like this it's a really weird shape isn't it it's kind of like triangular so what i would do is i would fold it in half pull this bit out here this is how i'd pack like every time even when i do a big wash i'd have to set myself like an hour or two just to pack my backpack because i would literally have to do it every single time the same way because i think it's because it's so small as well with the triangle a bit here just fold it in because it's a bigger item and it's going in the packing cube and i know i'm going to roll these items up i would fold this only so it was like a flat square and then i'd put it in there flat so it wasn't taking up much space on the inside and then i would get the rompers because I know it seems silly because I'm like, I'm just showing you how to fold, but what I'm going to do on the top is I'm going to roll things. And look how small it is. Okay, I'll show you what this looks like now. So I'll shove that right to the back. And then I've got a pair of shorts here. say as well i would even do this whilst i would go anywhere so this isn't just for backpacking specifically you know if i was going away for the weekend i would still pack my items like this and to be honest that is not full at all i could fit so much more in there i'd probably put like one more romper in there and even a cardigan it would fit really nicely i'd probably put another pair of trousers in there as well when you zip it up these packing cubes are amazing i actually spoke about these in my essential travel items i would recommend these to anybody but i'll link them down below anyway and then you zip it up on the side here and look how thin that is and imagine having just two of them so the other one you can put in maybe three strappy tops one loose top one nice top maybe like a scarf if you needed it and that is barely anything and that in your backpack 
you are going to be laughing because it's going to be really light. That is how I would pack my clothes. I would do that with each individual packing cube. Just try and get everything down really small, really thin and really compressed. And when you pack your backpack up, you'll thank me later because it, it helps everything. And I know this is a bit of a weird video because it's not like how you probably would have expected it to be. You probably expect me to pack my whole backpack. I can show you like that and then you can experiment yourself because that's what I did. I just bought some packing cubes and I bought some clothes that I was going to take with me and I just experimented for a while until I packed my bag the way I felt was most comfortable and perfect for me so that every single time I packed my backpack again it would go back the exact same way every time. So yeah I really hope that helped. As well, I wanna say, make sure that you get a good backpack that feels comfortable on you. So I recommend going to a actual shop to try them on. That's what I did. I went to go outdoors. That's what we've got in the UK. And I tried on like, I don't know, maybe like five or six different backpacks. And this one was the best one for me. It fat, it fat. It fitted really nicely around my hips because this one that I've got Osprey is actually designed for women. Really recommend you get yourself a decent one that's comfortable and put yourself a little tag on it because quite a lot of other backpackers have the same backpack and the amount of times I've said backpack in this video is unbelievable. And my sister got me this little tag and it actually really helped me find my backpack every time i came off the plane because i never carried it on i could take this is the good thing about this backpack you can actually take it as carry on but it has to be only seven kilograms and i'm sorry but your girl's going to take more than seven kilograms to travel for i don't know over a year with the one bag so <laughs> yeah keep looking around and if you've got any questions please leave them down in the comment section below um, i will link all of these items that i've spoken about if you haven't seen the video that i posted before about the central travel items please check that out i will link that down below as well i hope you're enjoying this backpacking guide i really appreciate you all if you've watched every single video and i really hope that it's helped you so far and please stay tuned for the next upcoming videos if you don't want to miss the next upcoming videos please subscribe down below and hit the bell button to be notified when i upload Mwah! thank you so much for watching my loves peace out